Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I think I'm gonna do a little review on the Sonia Kashuk blenders. Um, my mom and dad had a place in the States, so a little while ago I ordered a bunch and got them shipped to their house. Um, so, and then I finally just got them from them. So, um, I think I'm gonna do a little review on it. So I hope you guys are interested in that. So if you want to see that, just keep watching. So right now I've got my eyes done. I use the Jaclyn Hill palette. I've got my Benefit Roller Lash on there with my Roller Lash Liner. Uh, my eyebrows are Anastasia. I use their powder in Soft Brown. And the NYX Bear With Me Brow Setter. Um, what else do I have on? Oh, I've got the Becca under eye corrector in light medium. This is amazing. Um, so I'm just gonna do my primers and then we're gonna get into foundation. Um, so I start with my Pacifica Coconut Essence. This is the Hydra Mist. This smells amazing. <laughs> I like to add a facial mist before anything. I find it just gives a little extra hydration and um, I don't know I find it makes a difference um, next I'm gonna go in with my no problem uh, prime essence from touch and soul Then I'm gonna go in with my Glossy Skin Balm, also from Touch and Soul. Almost out of this. I love the glow that that puts to the skin. Okay, so the Sonia Kashuk blender. This is their regular size one. This is dry. They feel quite hard when you first get them, um, but they're quite soft once you uh, get them wet. So this is it wet and that's dry. They expand quite a bit. Um, so I've had this one before, um, and I really like them. Like, I can do my whole face in like two seconds. Um, but when I was ordering them, I noticed that they had smaller ones. Um, and I really love the Beauty Blender blushers for concealer. Um, so they're like the medium size ones. There's the minis, which are like this, sorry, it's dirty. And then that's the regular size Beauty Blender. Um, I like the one that's in between it for the concealer under the eye. Um, so when I saw that Sonia Kashuk brought out smaller ones, I was like, well, I might as well try them. Um, plus I love those for in my kit for on clients. So I bought a couple more. Couple. Um, so here's the small one. Again, this is dry. So this is the big one dry. So it's not super small. Um, this is actually probably the size of a normal beauty blender. Um, and then this is it wet. Mind the concealer on it. But. So that expands quite a bit. So again, here are the dry ones. And then the wet ones. So there's quite a bit, quite a bit of a difference. Um, but I love these, they're quite soft. They're not as soft as a beauty blender and they definitely feel differently, but I really like them. So I'm gonna use it today and show you guys. I'm gonna start with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is 8B Porcelain Beige, which is their lightest one. Um, it runs a little bit pink, but it's not too bad.
find it out really easily. I don't feel like it took much of that product away. So concealer, no concealer. Hmm. Stay Naked Weightless Foundation from Urban Decay, and I am in 20NN. So I just tend to put it directly on my sponge. Um, I'm not a fan of putting it on the back of my hand. And then going in, because I feel like you still waste product, because there's product left on your hand. Um, so, and I find that these don't soak up too much of your product, so I just go straight on the sponge. Again, that blended out really nice and really fast. I'm honestly surprised at how that applied on my nose. I have a lot of trouble with it being picked back up by the sponge on my nose, um, especially if I touch it too many times. But that's not happening with this sponge. That's crazy. Like it's not going anywhere. Okay. you guys so this is my Anastasia stick foundation in fawn and I just like to take this on my real technique sculpting brush put it right on the brush bronzer and baked this is their mini one there's so much product in here I can't imagine when I'll run out of this and again I use my real technique sculpting brush
And I just started putting a little bit across the bridge of my nose. Just gives a little extra sun kiss glow. Even though I have no tan and I'm very pale. And to set is my Milani Prep Set and Glow. Oh, and this is an It Cosmetics brush. It's their big powder brush. I always like to go in with a little extra brow gel. Once I've powdered to make sure my brows are set in place. So for powder contour, I'm using the KVD Vegan uh, powder contour in Sombre. And I'm using my Sigma large angled contour, the F40. This is a Real Techniques brush. I'm not sure. It's their shader brush. I like to use this for my nose contour. So you'll notice I only really contour the tip of my nose. Um, my nose on the end is quite round. Uh, and other than that, this part here is not wide, so I don't need to contour that. Um, for me, it's just that bulb on the end of my nose that I want to get rid of. So I contour down the sides and just make it a little bit thinner. Uh, for bronzer today, I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs bronzer in Tantastic. This is very sad. Very sad. Um, and I'm going to use my e.l.f. 105 brush. I'm going to finish my eyes off camera and I will be back to finish the face. Okay, my eyes are done. I am wearing the Tiffany Teal Lashes in Scarlet. I'm gonna finish, the, oh, and I put Coco Bling on from Artist Couture on my eye. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Reezy highlighter. and my Morphe M501. Okay, for blush. This is Rimmel in Coral. And my Morphe E3. For setting spray, I'm gonna use my Morphe Continuous. Glow Mist. Okay, that's the finished face, guys. Look at my skin. 
I honestly like, I mean, this foundation is great. And with my beauty blender, I get a similar effect, but I'm, like I said, my nose, I'm really impressed. What do you guys think? I don't know, my skin hasn't been great either. Like I've been breaking out a couple spots, but I'm impressed. Um, so yeah, the Sonia Kasha sponges. Um, if you have a chance to try these, I would. I think Target ships to Canada. They used to, I don't know if they still do. Um, it was just cheaper for me to send it to my mom, but um, I really like these and I'm really excited I bought so many of them. Um, yeah, so that's the finished look, guys. Uh, let me know what you think down below. If you have any questions about the sponge or any of the other products I used today, just leave them down there. And make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Um, yeah, that's it. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.